Hey everyone, Prince Brightstar here. I just wanted to pop in here with a channel update to say thank you to everyone that voted in the recent poll. For those that missed it, I basically asked what the future of this channel should be. Though I never had any true restrictions in the past about what I could play, now I have no fears left. This vote tells me that you're here for my personality, rather than the fact that I primarily play Fantasy Star. I threw the third option into the survey on a whim, without really thinking about what I want to do. So after we do cover Headline on the 25th, initially I'll just be adding more Final Fantasy XIV. This includes possibly a challenge series, but we're going to hold off on that until after the Dawn Trail release. And then, after that, we'll see where things go from there. If you're not a longtime viewer, or you just don't hang out in the Discord, you may be unaware that I got my start playing video games when I was only around three years old on an Atari 2600. So I've lived through the Bit Wars, and throughout the years there have been many games I've enjoyed. Some I've been getting a bit nostalgic for lately. Let me know if you're interested in any of these. The Dragon Quest series, the Lufia series, the Mana series, I've mentioned the Lunar series before, or there's other working designs translated games like Ark the Lad and Dragon Force, and then there's Shining Force as well. Of course, there have been other more recent games I've played that have been great as well. With members of my Discord, I've been playing a lot of PAL World as of late. I'd love to get back to the Final Fantasy VII Remake series at some point. And, of course, Fantasy Star isn't the only sci-fi fantasy series out there. There's also Star Ocean, Wild Arms, Nier, and Star Fox. This isn't an exhaustive list, and I might not get to some of these, but they're what jumped out to me as possibilities. For any of these new ideas, they might get one stream, or I might do a series to finish them. We'll have to see, and Content ID will factor on that. And let me be clear, Fantasy Star isn't going anywhere. I have lots of ongoing series, Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst, Fantasy Star Nova, Fantasy Star Online 2S, and of course, New Genesis. But I won't feel rushed to complete any of them anymore, with one exception we'll talk about in a moment. Some things will stay the same, like Daydon's arcs and I'll address New Genesis with story commentary when it's time for that. But the fact is, this has already been one of my most productive years related to finishing Fantasy Star games, both wrapping up Fantasy Star Universe Ambition of the Illuminous, and starting and finishing Fantasy Star 2. The one thing that has me worried is how much longer Fantasy Star Online 2S will be around for. That's simply because it's been around for so long with no new main story seasons that I'm worried about it going end of life before I can finish off that game. As such, I do want to address that sooner than later. I know for a fact the translation for much of that game remains incomplete, and when we hit the end of the translations, my commentary will end and I'll switch purely to preservation, just like how I handled the end of the Idola Fantasy Star Saga where much of Episode 2 remained untranslated. I'm going to have a follow-up video regarding some content for the Garal part of the Fantasy Star series in the somewhat near future, but right now, I want to get past the launch of Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. My preparations are complete, and I plan to be live as soon as the servers are up and I've logged in. With all that said, thank you for joining me today. This is Prince Brightstar signing off. I'll catch you next time.